what's up crew we are back with another episode and today i'm gonna show you a drill that's helped me in my game for like the longest uh, we're gonna be going through each arrow and try to hit the same break point um, it's used the most for me when i get new bowling balls and i need to see like where they line up in my bag um, it can help you guys out too whether you're no thumb two fingers two-handed one-handed any style anybody could do this uh, drill so we're gonna go over the first arrow and just see where what the ball does. All right, so that ball is very aggressive. The first arrow is not gonna work for that ball, of course. So we can move on to the second arrow and see what it does from there. We're gonna go on the 10 board, same break point. It's more like regular house shot now wow that was the second arrow time to go to the third arrow see how it does we probably need to slow down our speed just a little bit so we can see that corner a little bit more We're going over the 15 board out to the same break point I missed right on that one. I'm gonna give it another try. This drill helps me be able to pick up and slow down on different patterns so I could be more speed dominant along with uh, hitting my mark. A lot of things wrong with that one. Fell off my shot. But I still got it in the right area. It still did the right thing. So the farther left you move, the slower you need to be. The farther right, the faster you can be. I'm a ball change too since we're picking up. I'm a ball change to the harsh reality, a bigger ball than the attention star. Cause I need to see more shape in the line. So now I'm gonna try to hit the third arrow again with this ball and see the difference in that it makes. So that was a good shot. We can work with that one. So now next is 20, the fourth arrow. I need to keep on moving my feet left and bring my ball back so it could stop on the spot, which means I just need to walk slower and give the ball time to read. I'm going over 20. 20 out to about 10. All right, so that was a little too fast. I went over the right mark, but threw it way too fast. So I gotta learn how to slow down and make it stop on the spot. I'm gonna try it again. Keep your legs under you and not get too quick when you start getting deeper into playing deep, playing left. So you're gonna walk up really slow, make it stop on the spot. All right, so we hit the pocket. Now we can move to the next arrow. That was a really good shot. Uh, I'm gonna have to slow down even more now. So the farther left you move, the slower you go, your ball speed has to be to make it come back into the pocket. Harsh reality at like 500. So we're going over 25 now. You can't give the pocket away too much it's not gonna come back. And I gave it away. Gave it away. It's a hard drill to learn, but it's more speed consistency. You gotta learn how to slow up your speeds the farther left you move. 
Once you are on like the right side, you can just pipe it straight down most of the time. It's all about touch and feel. There we go, get in there. So you gotta learn how to slow down, make it hit the spot, make it stop on the spot. Now, we are on 30. This is probably the last arrow you need to shoot at any time, in my opinion. If you're more left than 30, you probably gotta change bowling balls. Probably have to hit it with a little loft so it can clear the gutter and not give away the pocket too much. All right, so every first time I tried the arrow, I missed right. So, I just gotta slow down and hit my mark. There's really no excuse for it. I'm gonna try one more time and then we're gonna go back through them again. Did you guys know that we have a, a giveaway at 10,000 subs? I think it's for the Ion Pro. So if you want your hands on it, drop brooms in the comment section. And when we get to 10,000 subs, we'll figure out how to get that out. That looks good. All right, so now we can go back through the arrows. So the, the farther right you are, the faster you can throw it, the more left you get, the slower you have to throw it, and you can even add loft to it to create hook. Because when your ball is in the air, there's no traction on the ball. So when it hits the lane, it's actually reading later and coming into the pocket. Remember, loft creates hook. One thing to help me help help me see my ball stop on the spot is like holding back in a way, not like going for it, just holding back. So that's what I'm gonna try here. See if it works. I'm going 25 to about 15. There we go. Get in there. Wow. All right, well, I hit the pocket. We can move to the next arrow. As you can see, I would not be playing this deep on this pattern, but I'm showing you guys on the drill what to hit at what speeds for your lane condition to see where your bowling balls line up. You can hit every bowling ball on every line. And as you can see, I got a little bit of different things. I got solid ASIM, Pearl ASIM, hybrid ASIM. So these different bowling balls here are just three different looks in my bag to see where they're gonna line up. The farther left I play, I would want to use the harsh reality. The farther right I play, I would probably use one of these two, if not something weaker. So we're on 20 now. I could probably go back to the attention star, but still same drill. You wanna hold back on it and let it see the spot. Going 20. All right. So the 20 board is a go. That wouldn't be where I'd be playing. I'll probably be playing around 10, 15. Uh, yeah, so 20 was a go. We're gonna go back to 15 now. So now is when I could probably pick up my speeds just a hair. I don't have to hold back as much on it but don't send it. You still have to read, let it read. 15 to about 10. There we go, 15 over 10, and it goes down. Yep, this drill helped me figure out my arsenal, where my bowling balls line up. Just not by look, but how they roll. Because one thing, when no holes are in it, you can see how they line up, but once you drill them, it changes the whole game plan. So now, we're gonna go back uh, to 10, the second arrow, and we can almost go back to normal speed. It's 
So 10 is a go. That's where exactly where I would be playing if I was doing a tournament or league on this pattern. Next we have five. I've been struggling all video trying to hit the five board because my bowling balls are just so aggressive. I'll probably get my weakest bowling ball to try to hit this for you guys. White Hot Badger. Some of you guys would say this isn't a weak bowling ball, but it's the weakest in my bag that I brought to Vegas. So now you just gotta go for it. It's five board, it's gonna hook. So you just have to pipe it right down, right down five. Full speed right here. Damn, I should end the video off that one. Whew. All right, well, yeah, that's the whole drill. Uh, you gotta be really speed consistent. Uh, the farther right you play, you can throw it faster. The farther left you play, you can't give away the pocket too much and you have to be uh, holding back on letting loose on it. So uh, if you guys have any questions, you can drop them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I know I ran through this pr pretty quick, but you can hit every arrow around the same break point as long as your speeds are right and you have the right bowling ball in your hand. Cleanup crew.